Now, in a nutshell, an anacrusis is an incomplete bar or measure at the start of a piece of music. And here's a very simple example. Here's a melody, or the start of a melody, that's in 4-4. Four, four. But as you can see, the first bar or measure only has one beat in it. Because there is only one beat, or less than four as there should be, this is an anacrusis. Now, any melody that has an anacrusis, we would also expect, but not always, the final bar or measure to also be incomplete. And here's the really important thing. The total number of beats in the first and last incomplete bars or measures, they must equal a full bar or measure. Let me explain this a bit further. So here's the rest of our melody we looked at a moment ago. We can see that in the final bar, there are only three beats. In the opening incomplete bar, there is just one beat. So three plus one equals four. So in other words, the total of the end and the first incomplete bars must equal that time signature in this melody, which is four, four. Now, an interesting feature of an anacrusis is that it shifts the strong and weak patterns of the bar. Now, if you were to tap or hum or play anything in 4-4, four, four, what would happen is that you get a strong beat on beat one, you get a weak beat on beat two, a sort of moderate beat on beat three, and a weak beat on beat four. Try it. Try clapping or tapping whilst you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The one and the three are the strongest, although three is just slightly less strong than beat one, and two and four are weak. However, if we now look at that pattern of strong, weak and moderate beats with an anacrusis, things change slightly. So in this example, a bit like the melody we looked at a moment ago, we've only got one beat in that first incomplete bar. And at the very end, we've got just three beats. So what happens now? We still get the same pattern of strong, weak, moderate, weak, but the strong beat is on beat four or that anacrusis. Let's have a look at an example to explore this further. And I'm sure you're familiar with this tune. This is Happy Birthday to You. Now note that this is in 3-4. An anacrusis doesn't have to be in 4-4. It can be in any time signature. So in Happy Birthday, it uses an anacrusis. And we can see here that the happy is an incomplete bar. That equals one beat. So it's an incomplete bar at the start of the tune or the melody. So that means it's an anacrusis. And at the very end, we've just got two beats on the word you. So the first and final bars equal a whole bar or measure. So in happy birthday, beat three is the strong beat, whereas beats one and two are the weak beats. Normally in three, four, we'd expect beat one to be strong and beats two and three to be weak. So if I were to sing happy birthday, the third beat of each bar is emphasized because of that anacrusis. Let's try it. So we count in two and then we start singing on three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I'll save you my singing for the rest of that tune. But you get the idea is that beat three is the strong beat and you can feel it if you sing it. Have a go yourself. You will feel that that because of that anacrusis or that upbeat lifts you into the next full and complete bar. It means that beat three is the strong beat. Now, at the start of this video, I mentioned that an anacrusis is also known as an upbeat or a pickup. Each of those names is absolutely fine. Um, personally, myself, I always prefer to use the word anacrusis, particularly when I'm teaching my school students. The reason for that is that an upbeat suggests that it's only one beat long. An anacrusis could be one beat, two beats, two and a half beats, as many beats as you like, as long as it's an incomplete bar. If you want to go away and have a look at some examples where anacrusis have been used, um, here are a few suggestions. We've got I Feel Pretty from West Side Story. That's got a two beat anacrusis. Eye Level by the Simon Park Orchestra. That's got a one and a half beat anacrusis. And I'd like to teach the world to sing by the New Seekers. That's got a half beat anacrusis. All of those melodies I'm sure will be available on YouTube or your favorite social media platform. Go and have a look, have a listen to them and see if you can pick out those anacrusis. And if you can find any songs, melodies, tunes that use an anacrusis, why don't you share them with me and anybody else that's on this YouTube page? Drop your findings into the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this video from Music Theory Guy. Please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so.